For TraderInsight.com, I'm Julie Manns. These are trade ideas for Friday, October 12th. First, let's go over the three trades I gave you yesterday for today's trading. Those were what we call extra inning trades, trades that either didn't develop fully or had more potential for the next day. This was tweeted out. We are at Trader Insight and also, of course, available on our website. First, let's look at ATO. This is up on your screen. Here on the daily to the left, you can see we were looking to see if it wouldn't pull back. All three were ideas that were meant to be used with a pullback. It actually did pull back this morning, opened up, traded higher, and then came down from this central pivot down to the next pivot. That's a nice dollar in opportunity there if you had it. It also went down to the support to pivot with another 50 cents of opportunity, pulled back up and traded lower most of the rest of the day. Closing at the low of the day, you can see what that looks like on a daily chart. I hope many of you grab this opportunity today. The next one we'll look at from yesterday's recommendation was ALSN. I did want to pull back on this one as well. You can see it pulled back uh, after opening to the first resistance pivot down to the central and headed toward the next support level. It did stop, turn around. This would be a signal for exit, but in here there was definitely well within 50 cents worth of opportunity. Also later in the day, it had some more opportunity a couple different times. Finally, EMN from yesterday, also really great. Another great pullback right to the central pivot, did a nice what we call a double header, opened low, closed high, and then opened high and closed low and started down again. So again, another nice pivot to pivot that had at least a dollar's worth of opportunity there and did continue the rest of the day. You can always get these extra innings on our Twitter feed. It is at Trader Insight. So go ahead and subscribe to that if you'd like to not miss any of these extra innings for the next day. For Friday's session, if we continue to see weakness in the market, uh, we did not see the bounce we expected today, so we might see additional weakness tomorrow. Since we don't ever know or have exactly have a crystal ball, we just like to be prepared. And here's an idea if there is weakness. ABT was a stocks to watch for us today on our trading plan. It's more of a discretionary trade where you need to find your stop intraday. I was in Abbott, took a 10 cent scratch on that one when it started lower and then headed back higher. You can see it really didn't do much the rest of the day. It did try and test lower. I'm looking at the daily and seeing that Abbott might want to get back to these levels. And over here on the daily looks like even with today's lowest tick, it was trying to test in these lows here. So there is some opportunity in Abbott for tomorrow. We're not looking for a whole bunch. Again, I, I would like to see this pull higher before heading lower. FLS was also a trade on our trading plan for today on the stocks to watch. Again, no stop prior to the day before, but a stop was easily set intraday after a pullback and really had a nice trade in the afternoon, struggled to go higher and then close lower. Tomorrow, I see that uh, it has pretty much started to close this gap and there is a little bit of room to the downside. So I'll look to see if we don't pull back during the day and see if it won't head lower on weakness. Today, Michael Kors KRS had a nice trade lower off of a pullback to the pivot. Ended the day not too far off from the close of yesterday's trading. As we look at a daily, we do see there is room to the downside. It has found some support on these lows back in early May, but it is closing toward the bottom of the range and we'll see if again on pullback, it might not have room to the downside. So those are three to the downside to look to for tomorrow. If there is a bounce higher, then of course those are voided, but we do like to set up opportunity where we see it. If you subscribe to the Twitter feed at Trader Insight, then I will update that during the day if there seem to be some other trades that are developing. Hope you had a great week. We sure have. Email me, Julie at Trader Insight, if you have any questions. Look for us at Trader Insight on Twitter for more trades. Thanks so much.